Coming up in ViewCast, how a musical pacifier is helping preemie babies learn a life-saving skill. It's no secret YouTube sensation Kid President is awesome. Find out why he's spending so much time at Vanderbilt. And see the Vandy student wowing judges on America's Got Talent. Hi, I'm Amy Wolf with ViewCast. As you may have noticed, I'm right around the corner from having another baby. And this new Vanderbilt University Medical Center research has me singing its praises. Researchers are using a new mom's own singing voice to help preemie babies learn an essential skill that's often difficult for them. ViewCast Carol Bartu shows us the musical pacifier. Twin sisters Brooklyn and Aubrey Evans were born nine weeks early at just three pounds each. Aubrey is baby A. She's more feisty one to me. And Brooklyn's baby B. She's more calm and she's sleeping more when I'm in the room with her. <laughs> now at one month old, there is one last hurdle before they can leave the hospital. They must learn to eat. Eating is like running a marathon for a preterm baby. It really is. It consumes calories. A healthy baby coordinates three things, suck, swallow, and breathe. Like most premature infants, the twins are fed through a feeding tube. Feeding on their own can be delayed. But today, Brooklyn is getting an important workout. If she can muster the energy to suck on the pacifier the right way, she gets a reward. Not milk at this point, she's not quite ready for that. But she will get a song recorded by her mother, Tina. Well, I have a thing to tell you and it won't take long. The way I feel about you is a kind of a song. Music therapist Olina Chorna gives the lullaby therapy to babies like the twins for one week. Lullabies is kind of a phenomenon that's um, uh, consistent throughout the world. Um, lullabies are typically a small range of notes, so within five or seven notes, an octave, um, and highly repetitive. It's classical conditioning. The theory is babies will work harder for the reward of their mother's song. And if the babies don't suck well, the music stops. This is where we can um, attempt to really target those questions and find the, um, find the answers, whether, whether this is effective or not. Researchers compared the progress of these babies to those who did not get these workouts. What we can say is that there is a difference of at least one week in pulling out the tube of when baby, these babies are able to accomplish full feeds without tube feeding between our control group and our intervention group. And that is huge, one week. Full results are not published just yet, but Tina Evans says just participating makes her feel she's helping her babies. I'm not sure if it's my voice or the song you have a happy tone in it, so I guess it's the happy tone and also hearing my voice that they like about it. Until they can go home as a family. All right, dear friend, you can sleep. For ViewCast, I'm Carol Bartu. Researchers say in addition to being able to remove feeding tubes a week earlier, their study should show clear evidence babies ate more frequently and developed a stronger sucking reflex without stress. Stay with ViewCast for the full results as soon as they come out. Lots of people want to complain about life. Say things like, I'm bored, I can't do anything. <laughs> but not you, you're good on that. You don't want to complain. You want to think about things that are awesome. So let's make a list of things that are awesome. This awesomely optimistic and funny kid is known to millions of YouTube watchers as Kid President. But life for nine-year-old Robbie Novak is also packed with medical challenges, bringing him to the Monroe Carroll Jr. Children's Hospital at Vanderbilt. I never thought anything like this would happen. I'm just a kid. I have osteogenesis and perfecto, if you know what that is. It means I break easy. Since I was born, I had over 70 breaks. Broken right now, and I still dance. Robbie comes to Vanderbilt every couple of months for an infusion of a special medicine, helping strengthen his bones. You can read much more on Kid President's condition and the unique treatment that's only done at a handful of hospitals on vanderbilt.edu, search Kid President. And don't miss a truly inspirational pep talk Kid President gives on YouTube. A poem, two roads diverged in the woods, and I took the road less traveled. 
It hurt, man! Just search Kid President and Pep Talk. Congratulations to the Monroe Carroll Jr. Children's Hospital at Vanderbilt, ranked among the top pediatric hospitals by U.S. News and World Report. The hospital achieved national ranking for nine out of 10 of its pediatric specialty programs. We all know how much talent Vanderbilt students have, but one rising senior is sharing her special skills on the hit reality show, America's Got Talent. A I think we should sing Call the Other Song. Uh, okay. <coughs> the Holy Lord, stay caught the night in haze. Call of the Sabbath. Call it on the tree. I don't think people realize just how hard that is. You have an incredible singing voice, which is remarkable that you can do it, not move your lips, operate these puppets, make them come to life. Yeah. I'm a big, big fan. Good for you. Ventriloquist and singer Megan Pyfus is an arts and science major here at Vandy. She's also founder of Color My Dream, a motivational program using puppetry and music to empower kids. We'll let you know how she does. She's got my vote. For ViewCast, I'm Amy Wolf.